ಸೌ ಸಂತೋಷಯತ ಸಂತೌ ಶ್ರೀಲರೂಪ ಸನಾಥ ದಾಕ್ಷಿಣಾತ್ಯನ ಭಟ್ಟೇನ ಪುನರೇತ್ವಿವಿಚ್ಯತೆ ತಸ್ಯಾದ್ಯಂ ಗ್ರಂಥನಾಲೇಖ ಕಾಂತವಿಕ್ರಾಂತ ಖಂಡಿತ ಪರ್ಯಾಲೋಚ್ಯಾತ ಪರ್ಯಾಯ ಕೃತ್ವಾಲಿಖತಿ ಜೀವಕ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸಮ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಐ ವೆಂಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಡೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ದಿ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಲೇಟ್ ಸೊ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ಡೇ ಟುಡೆ ಐ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಲೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯಾ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ okay what we were discussing in the yesterday's class can anyone quickly summarize hmm anyone wants to say something from last day's class no what was objection from the puro pakshi what was objection dela goin prabhu tell me dela goin prabhu where are you anant prabhu ananta anant krishna prabhu ಗೋಕುಲಾನಂದ್ರೋಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ಟ್ Mm. No, no, what, if bhakti is nitya, what you are saying, can you repeat? Yeah, how can bhakti give him pleasure, mm. give pleasure to the Lord who is fully mm. and eternally blissful? Yes. That's what the... Yeah. Yes, and the, the word nirati shaya nityananda. Ah. What is the Hetu Purupakshi is given to say this? yeah the 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 hetu he is is given is is this nirati shaya nityananda that he is eternally blissful then how how come mm-hmm. how come bhakti something that is external to him ah. give him pleasure they didn't say external purupakshi statement is what and what they have uh he to for that if purupakshi says something they should support their statement by some reason well right? they this this up it is in the shastra that no yes hari krishna na uh, okay mm. so another thing is the lo- this uh-huh. indeed the lord not full of bliss uh-huh. uh, that means he has some lacking huh? he has some lacking uh-huh. what is puro pakshi statement and what is the uh-huh. uh-huh. puro pakshi is it says um, if lord is full of bliss uh-huh. why need is bhakti for uh, full, um, blessing himself another bhakti that is indicate another that what is this anar bhakti for ah what do you want okay achra bhakti mata ji ji if the lord is already experiencing 
uh, unsurpassable uh, uh, bliss always. Yes. Then where is the room for him to yeah. get more pleasure yes. by receiving bhakti uh, yes. from a devotee? Yes. That means if he's getting more pleasure, means he's lacking something. It is not complete. So yes. this is uh, the Lord's accepting, getting more pleasure is defeating the statement that yeah. uh, his bliss is niratishaya nityananda. Very good. This is the point. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. So this is the, so next, uh, so how it is defeated, Sarvaisar Samsundar Prabhu? Prabhu, in scriptures, in Shruti, ah. uh, it says that Lord's bliss is in extreme and uh, is eternal. Hmm. Lord is eternal and has unsurpassed bliss. Hmm. And also, uh, scriptures also says that bhakti is the cause for pleasing the Lord. Yes, scriptures says. Suryate means so, scriptures says. Yeah, so we have to follow, we believe in the scriptures. What, what the scriptures say? Yeah, we believe in scriptures, is just saying. So that's why. So Lord's, uh, Lord is Nityananda, Lord is Niratashayananda. Yes. So, and also, Lord is. Uh, receiving the devotion from the devotees. Yes. Okay, those all are true. So then logically, how you can so explain this? Uh, that means simultaneously he is, is maintaining the Niratashayanandattum, Nityanandattum. That means unsurpassedness. And also he is maintaining eternity of his bliss. And also he is receiving the bhakti from the devotees. So, how this mechanism is happening? So, who is going to tell? Petambar Chaitanya Prabhu. Ah. Oh. Let him speak. Your voice is not audible, Prabhu. Maybe some problem is there in me. Not this mic. Okay. FM is like FM sound is we are getting. Okay. Lila go in Prabhu, yes. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Yes, please. So yes, uh, the example is uh, how the light itself it manifests and also uh, <clears throat> it also uh, like you know illuminates other things. Light itself manifest is wrong. Strong statement. Light itself manifest. Manifest what? Light manifest itself. No. Manifestation, no. Not the point of manifestation. Light illuminates. Its, uh, manifest and illuminates have many different meaning actually. Mm -hmm. Manifest means something is appearing. And illuminates means it's, it's showing itself. So, light illuminates itself and also uh, illuminates other objects. Other objects. This is a statement. Yes. Uh. So, similarly, uh. Uh, bhakti uh. pleases, uh, gives pleasure to the Lord mm. and to other devotees. Mm. And here, that uh, uh, that Haladini Shakti, how it gives pleasure, pleases the Lord. The question is now: Is is Lord is already you know um, is eternal and he has possesses unsurpassed bliss? Then how it is giving pleasure to the Lord? Because the Haladini Shakti is investing the Haladini uh, that potency in the hearts of the devotees. Mm. And when the devotees they uh, they distribute it to others, mm. so that is good. Mm -hmm. uh, is it correct, Prabhu? Oh, Prabhu, your target is you should understand your target. You should maintain nityananda tum nirsheshananda tum. That means. Lord is having the what is a uh, you know, what you have to explain. So, Purupakshi, how we they are objecting? They are objecting that 
is if something that means some bhakti so if lord is receiving bhakti from others and that is defeating the principle of what nirtashya anandatvam and also nitya anandatvam that is defeating na that means he is dependent on others is he is dependent on the bhakti activity so that means jeeva is doing bhakti and by that he is getting pleasure means he is not fully now in the bhakti okay that point you should explain that means now you should explanation your explanation should go such a way so you should maintain that means is uh, the uh, that means devotees are doing bhakti and that bhakti is giving blessed to the lord and still there is no so that is not virodha that is not against to the so nirathishtha anandatvam of the lord like that you should explain what you are explaining you are getting my point yeah okay ananta hari krishna ha uh -huh. so the from lord uh, swarup shakti one of the energy is haladni shakti and that haladni shakti is the cause of uh, bhakti so lord is getting pleasure uh, from devotee because of that uh, bhakti so lord is getting pleasure because of his own swarup shakti only not from outside mm. so uh, so here it is not defeating that uh, lord is uh, nityananda or nirati sahita uh, should say strongly actually you you spoke rightly but wording is conference level you should maintain more <laughs> so you are saying right point only first you should go with like this leela going bro here so you are seeing somewhere actually so <laughs> uh niratishaya anandatvam is also maintained and also he is getting receiving pleasure from the bhakti done by the devotees and also he is maintaining nirshaya anandatvam how it is done you see so devotees are doing the devotion means they are not giving anything from their side lord is only keeping his swarupa shakti that means bhakti swarupa shakti means ladini potency is that is he is giving investing that is anything but bhakti the condensed form of ladini shakti is also known as bhakti or otherwise the function of ladini shakti is also known as bhakti and that bhakti is nothing but component of swarupa shakti so he is in investing and he is relishing that only that means nothing is external to his swarupa so so that so he is receiving the devotion from other uh, devotees he is not breaking the the principle of so nirateshaya anandatvam nityanandatvam because he is not getting anything out from his swarupa sect that is the point actually okay understood lila going prabhu yeah so what is the example for this what is the exam ah uh, ram sharan prabhu tell me example so the lamp prabhu ji the lamp example you are talking about no no example the yeah, so the example which is given 142 anuchita and uh, 143 so okay okay so this is uh, mm, yeah okay prabhu no problem so what i want to ask is in the next anuchita so we are giving the example for so that's why lord is purna kama that means lord is getting bliss from his own swarupa shakti he is always dwelling his own his swarupa that means he doesn't have anything Uh, which is not fulfilled that kind of desires he doesn't have purna kama means all his desires are fulfilled so he doesn't have any unfulfilled desires so that's why he is enjoying his own swarupa shakti if anyone do bhakti means in that bhakti process they may offer something to the lord 
So, Shudra Guna Vastuapi. Shudra Guna Vastuapi means that object which is made up of three modes. Like you take rice or we take the something flower. These are all made out of three modes. Even those are all made of three modes. But if you offer that, he will be happy because he is not relishing anything from the that object, but he is relishing the bhakti, whatever is there behind this activity, that he is relishing actually. That bhakti. Okay. So, no matter of quality of the any object for the pleasing the Lord. Only thing is, our devotion is important. It does, but Lord is not dependent on the quality of the object. Only just He is uh, interested in the the devotion of that devotee. Uh, it, it doesn't mean that the so you can offer anything. Then that is showing that you don't have any devotion. So best thing you should offer. Okay, what is the other example for this? You have a question, Gokulan Pro. Uh, something clarification no i just want to make sure that yeah. because when i hear the devotees and i'm answering the questions or so, uh, myself i'm thinking that is right but may not be expressed in a in a, in a fully in full detail but it's right but i don't know if you are saying that it's not right mm. what we are saying or you are saying like okay you're you're correct but you're not explaining well mm -mm -mm. so that i will need a clarification because then for the exam, I'm not sure if I'm giving the right answer. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a question of, because someone may explain better. Yes. But, but we should know when we are wrong, philosophically wrong, like, like when you ask me about the Hetu. Mm. So I say that the Hetu, from, according to my understanding, was that if the Lord is, is niti, Nirati Shaya, mm. Nityananda, then how he can depend Mm. on any external source to get his happiness mm. and you you know you know if you're saying that that is not correct or is or, or the point is that i'm not explaining it well so actually see prabhu you are going to the solution part actually i am asking you yesterday also i tried to clarify to you actually so what teacher is asking that you should know first and accordingly answer should be given not that the what you know you will be giving and not that they out of the context also. Here, what I'm expecting, so Puropakshi is making a statement and in the support of that, they are giving the Hetu. That Hetu I'm asking. You're getting point? Yeah, I'm not getting exactly what you mean by the Because Hetu means cause. Yes. So, so there is one, one only statement in the, in the Sanskrit. It's, is nanu nirati shaya nityananda rupasya bhagavata katam mm, mm. taya sukam utpadyata and then nirati shaya twa nitya twayor virodat. Mm. So that's the statement and the translation. That is not a statement. I mean, that's the, the Puro Paksha. So that's not Puro So that's why you should know what is the statement and what is the Hetu. If you go to Sanskrit, nirati shaya nityananda rupasya. Bhagavata katam taya sukam utpadayet. This is statement. Okay? Kama is there. So you, you take kama there. Nirati shayatva nityanandatva yoho virodhat. This is the Hetu. Nirati shayatva nityanandatva yoho virodhat. This is the Hetu. You can so, note if you have any doubt in the class. Yeah. So how to break this? You immediately ask. Then I will show to you. Okay. Okay. Africa. Yeah. No, in the class also you can ask. So virodat. Sanskrit. If you uh, virodat panchami. Anytime you see panchami yes. is coming means that should be the hetu. So here nirati shayatva nityatva yoho virodat. That means if Lord is getting the pleasure from the devotion of the devotee, that. That, uh, that thing is becoming the agonist, that is becoming the opposite to Nirati Shayatvam and Nityanandattu, Nityatvam. Yes, it is coming from another source. Yeah. Uh. Uh, 
puru pakshi always think wrongly that should we should yes. run so they will be saying that this uh devotee is doing devotion so that's why it is going against to the the quality of the so niratashayatvam because lord is dependent lord is dependent on the third person second another person so to get the pleasure that means his pleasure is not is full and also complete uh, full and also is not continuous nityatvam means is continuous so because he is depending on the other so purpakshi thinking that purpakshi is thinking that devotee whatever is doing the devotion that is is different from the lord swarupa sakti so now we are clarifying that so that is a purpakshi purpakshi hetu idi give this niratashayatvam is broken actually they according to them niratashayatvam is broken that is the main point virodhatvam is important niratashayatvam is defeated according to them taken from the third person is not sufficient actually you should say that so niratashayatvam is broken that you should say yeah, that is contra- contradicting ah that uh, that is the exact answer actually because uh, they are showing the breaking of nirshayatvam because you we committed everyone accepted that lord is having nirtishay ananda now uh, purupakshi is thinking that this devotion done by the devotee is separate thing and that not only that that can be the fully answer actually that's not correct actually so by that this nirtishayatvam is broken virodhatvam virodhat is there na virodha means it's breaking the principle of the the quality of the lord the the, the, the what is that quality niratashayatvam nitya anandatvam that quality is broken that is a hetu actually breaking of that you understand yes i, I think i'm understanding <laughs> but, but then, um, yeah. so if you can you express that in different words also no like, yeah. like uh, but the answer should come to there any words you can use but uh, that point should be coming actually this is the if you go to the tarka at any time so to the uh, two yeah. people so you should come like that actually it's a just you will it is a matter of it's a practice this is the style that's why i am making you to you people to uh, get involved and understand this okay okay so <laughs> no i i understood actually you are thinking that oh my philosophy is wrong it's not the point probably actually it's in the classroom it's like a, yeah. so it's not that they someone is not knowing that's not the point so what is the uh, the answer how it should that means puro pakshi statement and the reason is 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 the, that is a precision actually that will help us to present the things in the more uh, precise way that is also important na so perfecting so it's not that the knowing is different of knowing that presenting is also important and the presentation is not there then we cannot say that i am saying correctly mm-hmm. but if that is presented then only it is said yes it is presented yes that's the any obvious uh, yeah my confusion here was just the, the point of communication because whatever gokulan and the prabhu said the hetu was already within his answer but he just you know he, he didn't come across as as hetu because he was already within the answer but then you ask for hetu to be named separately yeah and then that kind of yeah this communication okay so in the next uh, 143 so then lord is completely is getting pleasure from his swarupa shakti so any objects if you offer to him so the quality of that object is not matter actually that's why even shudra gana vastvapi shudra guna shudra guna means heinous qualities are the low qualities like objects which are having three more which are in the modes of three modes actually sattva rajas tamas so like those objects also if you offer to him so but with love he is accepting that is giving bliss to him but actually in the in the true sense he is not dependent on the the material object but he is dependent he is, he is getting the bliss he is really getting bliss from the the devotion of the devotees parit paritoshaya kalpate iti drishtantena aha so there is an example is given so for uh, saying this tatropanit balayo raver deepam ivadruta ಆತ್ಮಾರಾಮ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಕಾಮ ನಿಜಲಾಭೇನ ನಿತ್ಯದ 
ಪ್ರೀತ್ಯುತ್ಫುಲ್ಲ ಮುಖ ಪ್ರೋಚುರ್ ಹರ್ಷ ಗದ್ಗದಯಾಗಿರ ಪಿತರ ಸರ್ವಸುಹೃದ ಅವಿತಾರಮಿವಾರ್ಭಕ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ವೆಂಟ್ ಟು ದ್ವಾರಿಕ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹಸ್ತಿನಾಪುರ್ ಐನ್ ಹಿ ರೀಚ್ ದೇರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ್ವಾರಿಕ ವಾಸಿಸ್ ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ್ವಾರಿಕ ನಗರಿ ದೇ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಗಿಫ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಸೊ ರವೇ so deepam sometimes so you might be seeing the in our culture so we offer lamp to the sun god ravehe deepam so we offer the, but actually everything whatever is there in this universe the light is the who is the source for that light the sun god and but for him only so for him we are offering the lamp which is everything is coming from him only in the same way this dwarika residents of dwarika they are offering the gifts so who which are everything is coming from the lord's energy to him and lord he is explained here atma ramam purna kamam nija labhena nityada atma ramam purna kamam atma ramam purna kamam means he is completely purna kamam means his his all desires are fulfilled atma ramam means he is dwelling in his own self ಆತ್ಮಾರಾಮಂ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಕಾಮ ನಿಜ ಲಾಭೇನ ನಿತ್ಯದ ಸೊ ಬೈ ಹಿಸ್ ಓನ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಹೀ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಫುಲ್ಫಿಲ್ ಡಿಸೈರ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಹಿಸ್ ಓನ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ನಾಟ್ ಬೈ ಎನಿ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೀತ್ಯುತ್ಫುಲ್ಲ ಮುಖ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ಡಿಡ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಟು ದ ಲಾಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇ ಆಫರ್ಡ್ ಗಿಫ್ಟ್ ಟು ದ ಲಾಡ್ ದೇ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಸೋ ಜುಬಲೆಂಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಪ್ರೀತ್ಯುತ್ಫುಲ್ಲ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೇಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಶೈನಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಬ್ಲಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೀತ್ಯುತ್ಫುಲ್ಲ ಮುಖ ಪ್ರೋಚು ಹು ಹರ್ಷ ಗದ್ಗದಯ ಗಿರ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗ್ಲೋರಿಫೈಂಗ್ ಹಿಮ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಚೋಕ್ಡ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಪಿತರ ಸರ್ವ ಸುಹೃದ ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವೆನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ದೆ ಗಿವ್ ಸಮ್ ಗಿಫ್ಟ್ ಟು ದ ಫಾದರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅರ್ಭಕಾ ಪಿತರ ಸರ್ವ ಸುಹೃದ ಅವಿತಾರ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಫಾದರ್ ಈಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟರ್ and the father's money only they take and they bring gift and they give to him and father also very lovingly so affectionately he accepts us that uh, here main point is father only is a father's energy only and they are giving back to him <coughs> so this is a basic meaning then tatra sri dwarakayam ರವೇಹ ಉಪಹಾರೂಪ ದೀಪಂ ಆದೃತವಂತ ಜನ ಇವ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಧ ಇರ್ ಯು ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಸೀನ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹೌ ಲೈಕ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಫರಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಲ್ಯಾಂಪ್ ಟು ಸನ್ ಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲೈಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಂಪ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಲೈಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ವೇ ಹಿಯರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಏವಂ ಸ್ತುತ್ಯಾಧಿಕ ಅಪಿ ತತ್ ಪ್ರೀಣನ ತಾಂ ಅರ್ಹತಿ ಇತ್ಯಾಹ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯತಿ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸೇಮ್ ವೇ ಪ್ರೀಣನ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಪ್ರೇಜಸ್ ವರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ ದೇ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಫೈಡ್ ದಿ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ so by that those also he became please pitaram arbakaha iva drishtanta example is given like a child is so he is offering the or gift or giving the respect to the father so by that father is becoming happy same way these are all devotees these residents of dwarika they are respecting uh, lord by giving the various gifts so ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ತೀತಾವ ಪ್ರೀತೌ ಅಸಾಧಾರಣ ಗುಣವಿಶೇಷ ಅಪಿ ಆಹ ಸರ್ವಸುಹೃದ ಸೊ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾರ್ಡನರಿ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ತೀತೌ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾರ್ಡನರಿ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ 
is mentioned. See, if you take each Sanskrit line and English line, as it is, it is. I try to translate very literally. That means every line is, is very close. You can see here, Tasya Prito. That means uh, Prito Asadharanam. Uh, Asadharanam Guna Vishesham Api Aha. Tasya Prito means Lord's extraordinary uh, quality in being pleased. In being pleased. Tasya Prito means in being pleased. Tasya Prito means in being pleased. So Guna Vishesham means extraordinary quality. So, so is, aha means is mentioned. Like that, you should go. If you want to go Sanskrit also and English, you can closely observe when I read this Sanskrit and English. So, Sarva Suhrudam Iti. It is mentioned by Sarva Suhrudam. The word Sarva Suhrudam is there in the sloka. What is the meaning of Sarva Suhrudam? Sarva Suhrutve Lingam. So, how can you say he is a Sarva Suhrudam? Because he is a protector of everyone. The sign of a friend is friend. Suhrut means friend. So Sarva Suhrudam. Sarva Suhrude Surudatve Lingam. The sign of a friend is that he gives protection. Avitaram. So that is the sign. That is the indicator. He protects. So that is the indicator of that. He is the, he is the well-wisher. He is a well-wisher. He is a friend. He is protecting. Tatha Atma Rama Purna Kama Tvepi Tadrushasya Swa Sambandhabi Mani Preeti Mat Putra Dishu Preeti Vishesho Dayo Yathadrushate Tatha Teshu Tam Preeti Mantam Ityartha. So this is that means Tatha Atma Rama Purna Kama Tvepi. That means Lord is. Uh, even uh, in that way, though he was, though, that means Tathapi means, though he was satisfied in himself. Atma Rama means he was satisfied in himself and Purna Kama means fulfilled in his desires. Atma Rama Purna Kama Tvepi Tadrushasya Swasambandha Abhimani Preeti Mat Putra Dishu uh, this is a little bit big sentence. He had affection for the people just as person's special affection is arising towards his son and so who show affection in their relationship with him. What is this sentence? So, Sambandha Abhimani Preeti Mat Swasambandha Abhiman. You have an important point. This is father, okay? This is father and this is child. His son. Okay. Father is having the relation with the child. What is that? Pritaputra Sambandha. Otherwise, in English, father-son relation. Father-son relation. Father is having. This is father. This is son. Father and son, they have relation. Father is having this relation with the son. What is that? Father-son relation. Pita, putra, saman. Okay. And only just having samanda is not sufficient. 
Abhimani. Abhimani means father feels affection. It means he likes he likes to maintain this, not just having some bandha and not having any affection. So Abhimani. So Lord is having the that means pita father is having the affection. Then so by that affection, if putra he is also having the preeti father is father is respecting our father is affection he is having based upon this relation he is having the pita that means swa sambandha abhimani no 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 no, no. that is another meaning Definitely father is having the affection towards the son. There is no doubt in that. But the only problem is son actually. So that's why son should have, son should also respect that relation and he should have, so he should be favorable actually. Yeah, or he should become a, so, uh, uh, Abhimani. Abhi, Abhimani, you know, Abhimani in, in, in English, for him, for the son, Lord is his favorite, Abhimani. That means son is, is feeling, feeling the affection, or, or feeling the, some kind of, Abhimani means, like you see movie hero is there. And for him, some audience, they become not just audience, they will become after that Abhimani fan. So that means uh, son is becoming the fan. Abhimani means fan. Uh, relation is there. That is, a, that is an absolutely established relation. Not only that relation, but on top of that, so son is becoming the fan, fan of his so, father. And after that, he is having the love, preeti. Yeah. Maybe the word identification will work the best because sometimes they say guru abhiman. Yeah, I like one, that also. When one... So he is identifying himself as I am the son of uh, father. And uh, after that, so and also feeling for that. And just not only just identifying, and on top of that, he is also having the some kind of favoritism. So that means, and that's why he is having the love. So if you become fan of someone, you will be definitely developing love for them actually. So that's why son is having the love on him. So then what will happen? So sambandha abhimani preeti mat putra dishu preeti visheshodhaya. Then by seeing this love of the son, then father is showing the a special love. Father is a special love. Like there is one more son he is having, and and he is father and he is also son. But that relation he is not identifying and he is not becoming the fan of father. Then he will not be having any love also. And and then then the father also will not show any special love to him. It's obvious. Only basic things he will provide. Being a father, anyway, his father, he will not uh, stop his basic things, whatever he is going to provide to this son also. He provides. But he will be having this special love on this son, but not on this son. Special love. That's why Preeti Visheshodayaha. Here, if you see in the Sanskrit, Preeti Visheshodaya Drushyate. So, you'll be seeing a, a special love. So, from the father on this child. Okay. So, that's why what is that? Now, Swa Sambandha. That means father is having the Sambandha, that means relation with the son. And then Swa Sambandha Abhimani, based upon that Sambandha, 
so the son is becoming the fan of that and preeti mat becoming the so showing the love possessing the love the son is possessing the love for the father then then what putradish in that kind of son so vishesh preeti visheshodaya so father is showing the a special love this is the so in the, the this happens in general in the society generally if some side son who is doing the so becoming the that means more favorite uh, to the father and by 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 obeying sincerely father's instructions so then that son will be getting the special love special favor as yes or no so in the same way tatha that means same way same way lord is there and he is also having the several sons so this is jiva one this jiva two he is also same so someone is is feeling that means sambandha with the lord and in a way and part and parcel and on top of that he is feeling the so so on the abhimani that means so this jivatma is identifying that relation and showing the love for the lord then lord also will reciprocate to this and he will not show that special love to this jiva he will not show any special love for this jiva so now dwarika vasis are coming this category they are offering the gifts of course they are not thinking that oh it is everything is belong to him only what why, what is the need of offering back to him and like that they are not thinking so they are affectionately giving whatever is given by the lord only that only back they are giving like this and they are getting the love so a special love they are getting special love of the lord okay so tatha teshutam preeti mantam ityardha this is the example of kalpataru so like this can you say lord is having the any partiality on this son can you say is it partiality now if you compare these two sons so this father is having special love on this son can you say it is a partiality huh or can you say it is a partiality then lord is having dosha if you say he is having partiality then that is dosha dosha means it is defect actually lord is not then uh, equal to everyone uh, so this is not partiality actually so why partiality means if he is also reciprocating and he is also reciprocating both are showing the love towards father but father is showing special love only on him then you can say partiality okay or otherwise he is also not loving and he is also not loving but still he is showing special favor to the, this son then you can say it's partiality but this son is he is showing special, special abhimana actually love so that's why he is also reciprocating and in this case also now he cannot claim that why you are not showing special love to me so father is ready to accept him also if he also shows special love to him then father also will show on him like kalpataru there is a kalpataru tree so kalpataru tree if someone came to this tree and they ask i want 100 kg gold it gave immediately and some other person is there in the village oh that kalpataru tree is only showing partial to that person and it is not giving to me can he say then kalpataru tree, tree says that this desert tree says that oh you also come to me yaar and ask why don't you give so if he also goes and ask that kalpataru desert tree so the tree is going to give that so that's why there is no fault in the desert tree desire tree is ready to reciprocate with anyone but if someone is not going then he cannot say that 
it is a defect of sorry this is a in defect in the so kalpataru tree or the desert tree so same way in the case of the is uh, dot and sadharana normal jeeva एवं कल्पतरुदृष्टाते भगवत भक्ति विषयिका कृप यथाथमेव उपपद्य सो भगवत भक्ति विषयिका कृप यथाथमे उपपद्य इफ यू सी सो लॉर्ड्स मेर्सी विच इज बेस्ड ऑन भक्ति मैनिफेस्ट सूटबली सिंस इट इज necessary that he give mercy suitably to those who worship him while praying for so natural preeti to him in their hearts ah uh, what it mean bhagavatah bhakti vishayika krupa bhakti vishayika krupa means vishaya vishayi okay shall i remove getting swarna kanti yeah. ha going ha ha ah samaham sarv bhuteshu ha yes i am equal to all the living entities yeah that is the same thing samaham sarv bhuteshu is equal so of course actually even if if there is a defect in uh, paramatma that is nothing but is also on another form of the lord only na? so there actually lord is of course uh, sometimes we need to see the difference of paramatma and bhagwan and sometimes we don't need to see so here if we say some defect is there some nityatvam of the paramatma is broke if paramatma nityatvam that means eternity of the paramatma is broken then that will break the eternity of the bhagwan also or not like that so here so it's not the matter of the paramatma or bhagwan but the point is so lord is having any any kind of so partiality or not he is not having any partiality is samaha that is there in the 7th canto if you see the same thing actually uh, our Parishit Maharaj asks the question, why he is so much favorable to the devotee, uh, devatas? Why not the asuras? So then whole discussion, it goes, actually whole, if you see on the first chapter, if you see, so many things are discussed like this. It's a big discussion there. Anyway, sorry. And now, Bhakti Vishayika Krupa. bhakti is the vishayi for whom krupa vishaya and vishayi should know vishaya means vishaya means object for example you see this is i this is i okay you take this as i okay and this is a marker and i is seeing the marker i is seeing so i see is marker so for i marker is vishay vishaya object vishaya okay and that, that means this is marker is the vishaya and i is vishay okay for here in the present thing bhakti is there bhakti is there and krupa is there bhakti is what vishayi krupa is what vishaya understand so that means lord gives krupa based upon the bhakti if you don't do bhakti he don't give any krupa 
इफ यू डू द ये यथा माम प्रपद्यंते ताम स्थाय वा भजामि हम सो द वे यू रेसिप्रोकेट विथ ही द सेम वे ही आल्सो रेसिप्रोकेट इफ यू शो द इंटेंस सो डिवोशन देन आल्सो ही इज इन दैट सेम वे ही इज रेसिप्रोकेटिंग विथ यू यथा अर्थ मींस एप्रोप्रिएटली ही रेसिप्रोकेट्स सो बेस्ड अपॉन योर भक्ति यू विल बी गेटिंग द हिज कृपा इसीलिए दैट्स व्हाई ये कलु सहज तत्प्रीति प्रीति में आत्मनि प्रार्थे मान भजन्ते नौ तेभ्य तथाथ्य आवश्यक सो दट मीन Lord gives appropriately mercy to the devotees. That means based upon their devotion, based upon devotees' devotion, he gives appropriately krupa. Okay. Now these Dwarika Vasis, ah, ekhalu sahaja tad pritim eva atmani prarthya. प्रार्थे माना दिस दिस द्वारिका वासिस इन देर हार्ट दे आर प्रेइंग दे आर प्रेइंग टू लॉर्ड दे आर प्रेइंग टू द लॉर्ड सो हाउ व्हाट दे आर व्हाट काइंड ऑफ प्रेयर्स दे आर डूइंग सो ये खोलू सहज तत प्रीति में वा आत्मा ने प्राण सो दे आर दे आर डिजायरिंग सो लॉर्ड्स लव इन देर हार्ट they are praying in the lord they are praying in their hearts for what for for his love so then lord is also so showing the same way krupa that means he is giving the so same kind of so whatever they are asking he is giving the love that means because bhakti is the devotee's bhakti is the cause for the krupa whatever you get bhakti vishayika krupa so this is the tasmad astev ananda rupasya pi bhaktav anando lasaha so that means uh so that's why finally what we are going to conclude so that's a devotees if they have devotion strong weak in in between anything devotion can be the many levels so based upon that he is also giving the love to them and he is also enjoying and by that he is giving the same love that means devotion in their heart so that's why bhakti brings bhakti if they have that means if they desire more love then he will be giving the more so like that so by that what is happening He is enjoying because he is his sorupa sakti only this bhakti, and this jivatma is also getting the so happiness. Next, turn to Chida. Any questions? Anything? So, uh, Ram Sharan Prabhu. Yes. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Who uh, isn't it the like even the bhakti is basically also kripa like when we say we perform bhakti that also comes from Krishna. Yes. Like when we say bhakti brings kripa, so even the initial bhakti also is also kripa, right? Yes, yes. So it is kripa of the Vaishnava, initial bhakti. Now this person is there. This person is like the brand new person to the devotion. That means he didn't do any devotion previous lives also. now he is coming in the association of the vaishnava and he is doing the devotion the, from this vaishnava this is vaishnava so from this vaishnava he is getting the devotion so how he is getting the this devotion because of his krupa because of his krupa and this krupa is also what the melted form of devotion the this heart the melting of his heart that is due to what that is due to devotion that means when devotion when you do devotion that melts the heart and then that that devotion only in the form of krupa 
he is flowing and coming to this person actually okay so that means through the devotee's krupa ultimately what is entering into the this new person's heart so that is that is nothing but the bhakti and devotee's heart is melting and their krupa is produced when the heart is melted if heart is very strong there will be no krupa hard hearted persons they don't show any mercy so here but this this vaishnava's heart is 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 melted by the devotion so heart is melted heart is melted means what heart is already is is purely is pure what is purely in the sadh sattva yes or no devotee's heart so the portion of sadh sattva is there so that that pure so suddha sattva only is is flowing is flowing into the new person okay so but ultimately what who is the cause the lord's du- bhakti uh, the lord's energy only is the cause in to get the uh, in the new person's heart also lord's energy only is coming lord's energy lord's bhakti only is coming so that's ultimately yeah then what will happen then in the association of the devotees he is doing the bhajana and more and more bhajana so and it will be multiplied this devotion is multiplied then based upon this multiplication of devotion he will be getting the krupa of the lord and so that so he will be getting more and more love increased love ultimately everything what this lord's energy is only functioning here there's a bhakti shakti ah uh, archana bhakti mata yes prabhu ji uh, i had this question yesterday also and now that this question was asked yeah uh, so this bhakti here we see krishna and his swarup shakti you know uh-huh. and then that bhakti it's coming in the heart i wanted to know what is the role of uh, the guru tatva where does that fit in because we yeah, yeah. also hear that lord balaram you know he is the he is there whenever we are performing bhakti that enthusiasm for bhakti is coming from lord balaram yes, so yes. what is his role in this prabhu ji yeah <clears throat> so uh how a guru is playing role in this that will be uh so this vaishnava can be uh so he is also guru only is this vaishnava is guru or not who is ever showing path to us giving the seed devotional seed he is guru or not he is a guru this is a guru tattva so or otherwise you, may, you might be having many gurus actually so someone shows the path and someone gives a shiksha so i am not specifically mentioning who or that but guru what he can do this bhakti is there maybe some vaishnava gave some sadhu association you got sadhu sangha you got this that means after that guru you took someone as guru what he is doing when this bhakti is given to you heart is like a field actually you know heart is like a field and in that field there will be many many 
obstacles actually are stones so that what will happen the seed is is falling on the such a garden uh, there's a barren land maybe on the big stone and then this is not at all growing actually or maybe it is not getting the sufficient uh, that means land so land and also water maybe it is just on the edge and it is obstacle actually some obstacle is there and it's stopping this this seed to sprout and grow into a big tree so because it fall it fell on the some stone now this is stone should be removed and if this stone is not removed this seed cannot sprout and cannot go on further so this that means this and he this person whoever is having this heart he can destroy this stone by his own bhakti also but but this bhakti to increase it is already on the stone it is already on the stone then how it can increase so to remove the stone he cannot do himself he cannot remove generally in our heart whatever anardas are there those how they are removed by doing the your own sadhana actually by doing the japa so by offenses let us take you have the some nama aparadha which is very powerful actually so offenses and because of these offenses you are not able to uh, proceed actually so then what you will be doing you will be doing the more chanting let us let us take you offended uh, that means shastra then to come out from that offense what you should do you should do more chanting then this offense is removed by your own bhakti you can destroy your offenses for that you need to do more chanting but here this guy is not ready to do anything more because it is already stopped because his bhakti so then in that case this stone is removed by guru so it is said in the in the further anuchedas in anucheda number 237 it is going to come so swa swa uh, nana apratikara dustyaja anartha hanav so if he this devotee wants to destroy this anartha he has to do the very intense bhakti but to do that bhakti what he need how he can do he cannot do na because it is it, this seed is already on the stone so then what this someone has to remove that is done by guru the anardhas which are impossible to remove huh? so by this you are getting the prasada from the that means by the guru prasada by the guru's mercy tat prasado swasa nana hano next parama bhagavat prasada siddhi so then also you will be getting ultimately so ultimately what you will be getting the so mercy of the lord also by the guru's mercy you will be getting the mercy of the lord i he is asking no more role of the guru he is asking no in the in the journey of your devotion you might be getting this some so offenses you might be committing this so many offenses you might not be so knowing those are all the offenses then who will be giving guide so your guru is giving and he will be helping you to remove even in the further also whatever uh, uh, things are coming but this this thing the obstacle which cannot be removed by yourself because you are now the just a beginner actually beginner is in the devotional service and now you are not getting any enthusiasm because there is a big stumbling block in your heart and that who, if someone removes then only you can do intense bhakti but you cannot do intense bhakti and you cannot destroy that because you don't have any enthusiasm now you are a beginner actually so because your bhakti is stopped by that obstacle then how you can destroy that by your own bhakti you cannot do na so that's why that can be removed by the guru according to guru vastago there hmm. just so uh, just prasad bhagavat prasad ha uh, that's it you will get the lord's mercy there uh, pleasing guru actually pleases to lord yeah that's why i said so the second function is so by 
what i wrote there lots mercy mercy i wrote no? that's okay so uh, my question is uh, from mm. the um, mm. beginning uh, mm. this uh, previous explanation like mm. uh, today we are seeing that according to uh, mm. the devotee's love for uh, god or krishna so the uh, same uh, ac uh, accordingly krishna also uh, actually mm. reciprocate yeah uh, so is there any difference between uh, sadhana and bhakti actually because uh, we, mm. we heard that whatever sadhana you do mm. lord actually uh, his he may give kripa or he may not ha uh ha -huh. so yeah. it will contradict yeah oh, very good point so in the previous class i said so sadhana bhakti is the cause for the krupa only not the directly getting the love so that's why i said bhakti is the vishayi krupa is the vishaya lord's mercy is the is a function is a function of the so is a bhakti so based upon bhakti he is getting the krupa so yatha ye yatha yatha means so the way he does the bhakti so the way he will be getting the krupa okay and here also this krupa lord generally meant ye yatha mam prapadyanti he is saying so the way he you reciprocate the way i will also reciprocate and also but he is he is also not bounded by anything actually he will do but he will do according to his free will he is not a machine so i did this much bhakti and you should give this much krupa you cannot claim on him he will give then ye yatha mam prapadyante ah ye yatha mam prapadyante is not broken he will maintain but he may maintain he, he will maintain that but he may give make take the time or he may so give the more sufferings and then after that he may give so because he maintain ultimately he is the so keeping his words you are understanding so that means he is giving the surety that he will give but he should he, that's why that statement is giving that so there is a hope actually lord if you do the so bhakti you will get the krupa there is a hope that statement is giving the hope for the sadhakas ha huh. so but based upon that you cannot claim that means you cannot demand actually so because it is krupa what you should get from him krupa only na not the anything other krupa means what it is so it is his own choice actually that krupa is his own choice but he says i will give Uh, today's discussion was uh, yeah. uh, like that that yeah. as much bhakti you do that much kripa yeah, you yes. get yes. you get but uh, previously <laughs> ah, that is also true na actually we are not saying against to that yeah. so he he is ready to that but you cannot if you are demanding means what you are not in bhakti actually not a question of demand but the that's an understanding uh, understanding is that's why in general he is saying if you do bhakti i will give but also but you cannot based upon this then what it is it is not devotion actually it is like a duty you are doing this and i am getting uh, business you are understanding that is a that is only the devotion actually you are becoming humble and so you are just trying to please him and he said he will give and but based upon this you cannot demand it means if somebody not demands he will get definitely yes instantly yes huh? that's that's his free will na Achha. so yeah but he will you have to that's why na you have to have the faith on him it's not that the oh i cannot have a faith then you don't have any devotion he says immediately so that means demanding is defeating the principle of devotion actually Okay, any questions? Ram Sharan, too. Yes. Hare Krishna, Mami. So, where exactly we fit that? We generally say that uh, Lord's mercy is causeless. Like, uh, yeah, it's not based on anything. Like, like. 
cause hetu for that so when we say like is proportionate yeah like is basically depend upon the bhakti then the mercy will come and when we say this causeless so how do we justify that thing mm, yeah so because this krupa whatever that means lord's mercy is is a is a causeless mercy <coughs> and also ye yatha mam prapadyante tam stathayo bhajami it is also true and lord's mercy is also is, is causeless both are same actually both are correct uh, so no no not condition lord's mercy is causeless what it mean so there is no any other external causeless means it doesn't have any other thing to produce actually like you see it is a cause and this is effect like example you take uh, you take mahat mahat is the cause ahankara is the effect here cause is different and effect is different but here bhakti is also belonging to him and krupa is also that his own swarupa shakti both so in that sense nothing external thing is is cause actually for this causeless means no other other thing is cause it is itself no other thing is hetu for that is there any other substance is there here it is also swarupa shakti it is also swarupa shakti and and there is, this bhakti is not dependent on any other thing actually and this krupa sorry this krupa is not dependent on any other thing this nothing but the krupa is nothing but the form is the bhakti only bhakti shakti so that's why it is said as causeless uh, so that means phalanusandhana rahita so what we say, read in the previously in the anuchadas ahai tuki you remember in the bhakti vaibhava class ahai tuki means what we read huh phalanu sandhana rahita so that means now you are doing the bhakti for getting the some result then this bhakti is not uh, ahaituki 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 means causeless causeless what is the meaning of causeless you should understand first meaning of causeless bhakti is ahaituki we say that means causeless means this bhakti is not done out of any any expectation that means any results so bhakti is done for bhakti then it bhakti is known as causeless understood this bhakti is done for bhakti bhakti is done for gaining the some material objects then that is not causeless bhakti that's not i hate it any what is siddhanta so if you do bhakti for some other things then that is not a pure bhakti so you do karma for getting the 500 rupees activity so then karma is can you say karma is causeless no it is sahaituki so for the sake of 500 you are doing the karma for the sake of 500 you are doing the karma bhakti is ahaituki means bhakti is not done for the getting the any other results bhakti is done for the getting the bhakti only then it is phalantara anusandhana that means for antara means to get other that means bhakti if it is done for the other results if bhakti is done for the other results then it is it is not ahaituki bhakti is done for bhakti then it is 
ahaituki. Ahaituki means what? If you do bhakti for get, gaining other results, other, other results means other than the bhakti. If to gain that result, if you do bhakti, then that is not ahaituki. If bhakti is done for its own self, for getting the bhakti only, then it is ahaituki. Yeah, in the case of devotee only, no? so same thing here also. Lord's mercy is also bhakti only, no? that is a krupa is also in the form of bhakti only. So, yeah, how the Lord sanctions, so that is krupa is nothing but the so what is that? That is bhakti. So that's why the krupa of the Lord, krupa of the Lord is 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 uh, is ahaituki means ahaituki krupa so this krupa is ahaituki why because it is not giving the other than the bhakti that is also giving the only bhakti bhakti is the cause for getting the Bhakti. Krupa comes in the form of what? In the form of bhakti only. Na? Is there any other things you will get? Krupa is in the form of what? Lord is giving krupa means bhakti only is giving. Na, bhai? Ah, but but uh, that krupa is coming from where? From the bhakti only. Na? Yes or no? Krupa comes in the form of what? Ah. And you are getting the? So we are doing the bhakti. Bhakti. No, no, no. You will speak. Uh, so it, it means that Lord is demanding bhakti for the from the ah, Lord is 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 asking us to do bhakti. Yes. So to give the so then it, bhakti. Krupa means it's a bhakti. Yeah, then it will be costless. Ah, it is costless only. So bhakti is giving bhakti only, na? That means uh, what I said. Bhakti produces krupa. I said krupa is in the form of bhakti. So that means ultimately you are getting the what? Bhakti from the bhakti. It is causeless only. Is there any other thing? Another other thing is cause for Lord giving the krupa, which is nothing, which is not, which is not even, krupa is in the form of bhakti. To get that, is he demanding any other thing? Any other thing is the cause for that? Bhakti is only the cause, no? You're understanding or not? No? <laughs> In that uh, point, that actually lords also desiring, uh, 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 also lords also have demand from the uh, devotees. Mm, so then, what he is demanding? That is Tell actually me. questioning. What he is demanding? Bhakti, bhakti only is de bhakti only demanding. Uh, for what? For, for giving bhakti. bhakti. Uh, so that that means that bhakti is bhakti is, is cause for the bhakti. Uh, so is, if anything other thing is cause, then you can say it is sahayituki. To, to give bhakti, he is demanding bhakti. Is That means bhakti is the cause for the bhakti. But generally, we uh, actually, uh, we don't want to uh, give, means uh, the thing is that the condition is there, that bhakti, you have to do bhakti, then you will get bhakti. Means you will understand that who is doing bhakti also, you will understand in the next one, Shreda. Jivatma is doing bhakti. So then you'll understand actually how the senses are functioned and what is the Kriya Sekti. Next is Amshad is going to answer this. Who is doing bhakti actually? What is doing bhakti means what it means that you'll understand in the next one. Then it will be even more clear actually. So all the senses are also, anyway, you'll discuss in the elaborately in the next class. So uh, we'll be having the holidays for another five days. Good.
tomorrow fourth actually four fourth only na third tomorrow is third or fourth uh, 4 5 6 7 8 we'll be meeting on 9th 10 10 next okay 4 5 6 so tomorrow because we are celebrating this annakota festival so because in we are in the govardhan so that's why many students are uh, becoming uh, that means involved in the service you, it's not that they should go to the vrindavan right na you should be here in the govardhan it is 2000 participate in the service yeah Uh, so that's why i am expecting all the uh, on site students to be in here okay. yeah we are also inviting online students through online you can attend this this program so this is the thing okay you people can uh, attend you should attend actually that's why we are giving the holiday tomorrow because we are going to make 500 items that me chapan whether 500 items of bhoga 500 so yeah at least 500 so yeah so yeah huh time who is that yeah so i will message it mata ji so what is the time uh, programs details and everything so okay then uh, we'll be having the holiday uh, for the tomorrow for a preparation and any day after tomorrow we are having the so gordon festival and saturday is a holiday sunday and monday is propas disappearance day so like this five days okay we'll meet on the 9th thank you very much sila propad ki